All right, guys, here's the new 14 inch 1080p monitor by Wimaxit. I've been looking to replace an older 720p one for a while. I mainly use it for gaming on the go. Let's put it through paces and see. Is this a great monitor for gaming? Let's find out. All right, so what are we gonna get in the package? You're gonna get the 14 inch monitor itself and it has this really cool case that's magnetic. So that's pretty neat. And it also acts as the stand. You're gonna get a USB-C to USB-C. You're gonna get a USB-A to USB-C. And then you get a mini HDMI to full size HDMI. Now this cable didn't work with my Nintendo Switch. I had to use uh, one of the Amazon ones that I have. So I will put a link in the description because this cable did not work for me. You get a little power brick so you can power it up. This thing uses a micro HDMI. And then you get this little dust thing, I guess. All right, so let's take a closer look. Okay, so on the right hand side of the device, you have your micro USB, that's for the power. Then you have two USB-C connections. These are pretty neat, because if you have an Android phone with video out of the USB-C, you can plug it directly into this. I don't have an Android phone, but that's a pretty cool feature. There's a mini HDMI, and then you have your right hand speaker. All right, on the left hand side of the unit, you have a 3.5 millimeter audio jack. Then you have this sort of scroll wheel type thing. This is actually to navigate the menu. And this is your power button, and this is also used for menu navigation. And then you have the left hand speaker. All right, as far as the case is concerned, this is a magnetic case. So you can easily just take the case off completely. But how do you use the case? You basically just flip it forward and the case acts as sort of a support for the monitor. So there's position number one and position number two. So you just set it to the viewing angle you want and that's pretty much it. All right, so this thing has a bunch of use cases. Obviously you can use it as a second monitor for your PC so you could multitask, right? Watch your favorite YouTube show, the one up weekly while you, you know, manage your Twitter feed. So it's pretty cool for that. So there is a business application and in this day and age where we do Zoom calls all day long, it could be kind of cool to have a secondary monitor for multitasking. All right, but how does it look for games? Because that's my primary reason for even having something like this. So it's a portable display, which is great. So you can move it around, but it looks really nice. I'm outputting 1080p from the Mega SG. And because of the 1500 to one contrast ratio, it looks very good. I also have it in game mode. It supports some advanced features. I was surprised it actually has free sync and HDR. So it does a whole bunch of different things that I was kind of not really expecting. The viewing angles are pretty good, although the best angle would be direct, directly on it. But if you had multiple people playing, it wouldn't bother you to be looking at it from the side and it'll still look good. The speakers are OK. They're actually surprisingly decent for a monitor like this. But, you know, they're not the best ever, but they do have a headphone jack if you want to hook into it and listen to it privately. All right, navigating the menu system is pretty straightforward and easy with that little scroll wheel on the side. And like I said, there were some options I was really surprised with. So it's got a bunch of different modes. It's got a game mode, a standard mode, a movie mode, a photo mode, and a vivid mode. So you can kind of adjust that to the way that you like to look at it and the way it looks best for you. There's brightness and contrast and all the typical things. But the thing that I think surprised me the most was the fact that it had free sync. So I think there's tons of options here for someone that wants to use this as a gaming monitor. All right, so what don't I like about it? I'm not thrilled about this little scroll wheel. You have to use it to navigate the menu sometimes, and then you have to press down on it like a button, and sometimes it doesn't work the best. The only other thing I don't love is sometimes this case can be a little goofy to get it into the position you like. Once you do, it's fine, but it is something just to be aware of. All right, so what are my final thoughts on this thing? It's really sweet for gaming, and if you can justify it for work too, then maybe the cost won't be a big deal, but that's really what it is. It comes down to cost. It's $200, but here, here I can help you a little bit. You can get 10% off by using the coupon code RETROROUTH, but you can also, right now they're running a promo where you get another $20 off. So it's $200, you get $20 off, and another like $19 off, so it comes to about... 159 before tax and with tax it's about 172 dollars so it's still pretty expensive but i haven't seen a lot of these that are cheap and i think this one performs really well for gaming and that's kind of one of the things is i wouldn't really even be interested in this if it sucked at gaming and it seems to excel at gaming and i plan on using it for gaming so if you like this and you're interested there'll be links in the description and all of that so if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to the channel. Put your comments below. I want to know, is this something you're interested in or you're going to pass? And then as always, 
Thank you for watching, and we will see you on the next one.